I wanted to tell you all. I forgot. I, I wanted to say after I got to uh, uh, to asking for the likes, I I got a killer killer deal. Okay, I got a really killer deal. Okay, and I gotta show it to you guys. Okay, um, I was able to get my hands. I couldn't believe it. First of all, I was stunned. Okay, I don't know if you guys know, but Apple announced and released their Apple Vision Pro uh, VR headset yesterday, and they it was only thirty four ninety nine. I couldn't resist such a sick deal on an Apple VR Vision Pro, and I am extremely excited to get to show it off today because I didn't think that I was going to get to get my hands on one, and I didn't think that they were going to sell it for just $34.99, and so I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys it's the... It, it doesn't fit all that well. Um, sorry, hold on, guys. I, I'm sorry. It doesn't fit very well, but it's okay. They're working on the fit, okay? It's really incredible. Uh, I already, I already, whoa. Hold on a second. Oh, 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 oh uh, fuck. Uh, shit. Hold on a second. I'm getting a little bit dizzy. Um, guys, I, I'm, they're telling me that the motion sickness is not going to be an issue for long. Um, They're telling me there's not it's not going to be a big issue. Hold on, maybe I've got them on wrong. Hold on, maybe I got to power them on. Maybe that's the problem. You're not really supposed to wear them without them powered on. Let me turn them on real quick and Oh, all right. Sick. This is so realistic, guys. Oh, I already plugged them in. They've been charging overnight. Uh, the battery is kind of heavy. You guys can't see it, but um, there's like a battery pack and the, the battery has a wire. You have to run it down your back and there's a belt pack. It weighs about 35 pounds or so. It's not too bad, honestly. It's given me a workout. I could use the extra exercise, so. Those glasses look horrible. You guys are laughing, but right now, I am browsing what appears to be a Bugatti dealership in the Decentraland Mall. So I don't know about you guys. Maybe you fucking frauds are not cool. You laugh. You laugh. But what? watch this. With one simple swoop. With one simple sw Oh, wait. You have to use your head. Oh, it's not fucking working. Okay, with one simple swoop, I can turn my girlfriend. With one simple swoop, I can turn my... There we go. Okay, now it's working. You guys can't see it, but I can see it. I can look out there, and I can see through the wall, first of all. And secondly, I can turn my girlfriends into into goblins with with three-foot dicks. Can you do that? Can you turn your girlfriend to a goblin with a three-foot dick? I don't think you can. I can. I can. You guys don't understand, but in the in in reality, I might be sitting here with ugly as sin glasses on my eyes, but I only had to spend $34.99 on these, and you suckers aren't uh aren't enjoying. Uh, a, a goblin sucking your penis. So, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy that while you losers fucking... Oh, hold on here. Maybe I can... This will sweeten the deal for you. Hold on. Here, I'll let you guys in on the audio. Hold on. I'll let you in on the audio. Hold on.
anyway, I think I think I've had enough. I think I've had enough. I think I've I think I've had enough. I don't need see. This is the power of VR. I can tell. I can summon or dismiss a goblin at will. And you want to know one of the cool things is, it even comes with sunglasses. Isn't that pretty cool? Is that Yoda's ketamine? Yes. What do we do to deserve the ear goblin? You all, you all don't deserve the ear goblin. That's why I get it. So yeah, uh, I figured, uh, I figured you guys would be jealous getting to see me play around, uh, with my cool VR headset that you guys don't get to have. So the sunglasses look better than the goggles. Well, obviously. Okay. Guys, guys, I don't know if this is newsflash, idiots. I bought $10 or $5, I don't even remember, novelty uh, Vertex cosplay sunglasses. I mean, party novelty glasses. And I put them over an actually nice pair of, of sunglasses. These are my actual sunglasses, which I quite like. They're really good, you know? So, like, I know it looked so real. I know you guys didn't get it. It was just a joke, okay? No one is gonna buy those things. Okay, guys, did you see this? Hold on, can I show you real quick? Can I just, can I show you? Hold on. Hold on, look at this. Did you know that like Apple's, Apple's stock like skyrocketed when they announced the VR headset and then it crashed immediately after they announced the price? Like, I'm not kidding you. Look. It was even written about in Forbes. Apple stock hits all-time high and then falls after revealing $34.99 price tag for a VR headset. Yeah, nobody's ever gonna buy that shit. No one is ever gonna buy that. <laughs> oh my god, it's that's ridiculous. For t again, I was like, look, like you guys think that you guys think that like somebody wants to run around in this shit here. I'll even, I'll even do you a favor and turn off the transparency because this is what people are going to get in their fucking VR world. Help, help. I need to run from the real world. Take me to the Decentraland mall. Let me go to a virtual Bugatti dealership where I can purchase a matching Rolex. Come on guys. ridiculous okay listen i'm not hating on all of vr but i am hating on three thousand five hundred dollar vr absolutely vr is in its absolute and utter infancy and can we recall can we just take a look real quick can we just look at what these apple vr things look like they literally look like the like, th these things are so stupid. They look terrible. They're like the worst VR headset that's ever been designed. Look at this shit. Look at the picture of the model. This is official product footage. This is the worst shit I've ever seen. I can't even believe it. It literally just looks like ski goggles. I was thinking about ordering ski goggles, but the thing is they don't sell no novelty ski goggles, but they do sell relatively similar novelty glasses. Why can you see her eyes? Because it's supposed to have, you're supposed to be able to see through. And the thing is it has AR. Now for you fucking troglodytes and cave people that live out there in the world, you fucking you know, people who haven't even evolved past banging two rocks together to make like your your breakfast in the morning there's a difference between vr and ar vr stands for virtual reality while ar stands for age regression okay wait hold on sorry uh, augmented reality um augmented reality is uh uh is when they uh they put stuff in the real world okay uh nintendo did something like that do you guys remember on the nintendo 3ds um where you could use the camera and it would be like you could see a piranha plant in real life 
just just point the camera of your 3DS at some fruit and a little pipe will pop out and a, and a piranha plant will go like this. It's so dumb, okay? But in and of itself, it's not that bad. AR is not that bad. But this type of AR, this type of AR is embarrassing. The trailer for this shit, the show, the like promotional uh, videos were hilarious. It was a guy standing at his sink with 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 a ski mask on, uh, uh, going like this. <laughs> Let me talk to mom. And then he like swings his finger through the air towards iMessage. Okay, just hold on a second. Hold on a second. Can we just take a second here and acknowledge the fact that these people, these fucking people have got nothing going on, all right? It is the peep and creep. I know it's literally the peep and creep. Oh my God. I, I have to just show the footage of the peep and creep because it literally is the peep and creep. It's, 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 is it like, wh where's the part with his eyes here? Let me, let me get it here. Wait, this is the end of the peep and creep. I need the original peep and creep. Here's the part. You tell me that this isn't the fucking truth right here. This is it. And nobody can see your eyes. No being able to look wherever you wanted. And nobody can see your eyes. Nobody can it's tell. It's literally the peep and creep, okay? Just uh, t tell me the difference. Tell me the motherfucking difference, okay? In the promotional video, the guy is standing there with his ski goggles on and he's waving his hand like this to use iMessage. And that is the thing that made me go, man, these guys have got nothing. You have the concept of augmented reality at your fingertips. And all that people can think of is projecting their iMessage screen, their iMessage app floating in front of them. Wow, incredible. You could you could craft entire worlds of imagination. You could come up with contextual information that's super useful. You could come up with all kinds of 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 real-time guidance if you're trying to find your way around an unfamiliar city, but no. You can open Twitter with a finger waggle and and you'll get to see a beheading video or a cat being shoved in a blender against your will before you before you waggle your hand like this, but then the, the motion tracking doesn't work, so the bl the cat's getting blended in real time, projected in reality in front of you. Terrible. Terrible. It's embarrassing. I, I, I strongly feel that this is an affront to humanity itself. Oh yeah, here you go. VCC TV says, here's a super great idea. What if you had AR materialize a mouse and keyboard in front of you with a full functioning computer? Oh my God, it would be just like if you went to your own computer and typed on a keyboard and moved the mouse around. It'd be just like that, except you wouldn't really feel it. It would be laggy. It would look like shit. It would be a simulation within a simulation. So it would be burning your head alive as the processing power heats up the headset, literally giving you a fever in real time time guys wouldn't it be super cool if um wouldn't it be amazing here's a here's a shocking idea what if we took care of the actual world so that people would want to spend time in it what if thirty five thousand dollars so that you can bring up your iMessages in front of you to distract you from the fact that you hate living in your own home is like a sign of bad things, okay? Have we ever considered that? Have we ever fucking considered that, okay? Listen, I don't wanna be too mean to the VR AR people because there is some really, really cool stuff you can do with it, especially with games. There's some really cool VR games in fact, even though I don't play VR games because I have really, I get motion sickness really, really easily. So I just don't, I don't do the VR game thing. I know there's some really cool VR games out there and I've actually spent time watching reviews of really cool VR games. Now, unfortunately, um, 
there's a, there's one, I, I don't want to go too hard on them because it is cool stuff, but there's a limit, okay? Some people believe that virtual reality will allow us to create like a totally second layer of, of reality over our reality, that basically humans will just escape into a completely fake digital reality. And I have to ask, why? Why? Why would you do that? Why? I love video games. I love fictional worlds. I love my media, okay? But why would you ever set as your aspirational goal, instead of using VR and AR technology as a way to create, you know, compact novel experiences, as a way to, uh, to build tools that are unique, you know? Like, I don't know. Maybe it would be cool if a VR headset could like, uh, I don't know, give you vocal instructions on how to navigate a town with great efficacy so that people who have difficulty seeing could easily navigate towns. Wouldn't that be a cool application for VR and AR? But you know, in order to do that, you would have to have the VR not be $3,500. I don't know. Maybe I'm just ranting. Maybe I sound like an angry old boomer here, but I just do not understand the like vision of AR VR as like a, 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 a totalitarian escape where you just put on a pair of goggles that layers a uh, iMessage over your world or Twitter or fucking Zoom over your world. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand the goal. Like, do you, like, people looked at the movie, I know that, like, everybody says that Ready Player One is cringe, but maybe that's, maybe that's why it's so good. Maybe Ready Player One really was taking things to the next level by, by accurately portraying the dystopian world of, of, of virtual reality as a giant cringe, never-ending amusement park mall that nobody gets anything out of. Hmm. Why, yeah, why would you want the world to be Ready Player One? The movie didn't do it well. The book was better. Some people say that. I, I, I hear the book was slightly better, but I also have also read segments of the book that made me cringe out of my teeth. I don't know. It just feels... <laughs> yeah, he lives in a, tra a trailer of skyscrapers. That's true. I mean, a, a skyscraper made out of trailers. I don't know, guys. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about the internet and about the virtual world and about digital lives. And my takeaway has been, maybe this is kind of bad. Maybe this is really bad, actually. Uh, honestly, though, this the Apple VR just kind of makes me laugh. Uh, the fact that Apple is unironically trying to sell the peep and creep for $3,500 a pop minimum is just too good to be true. I I still think that Apple is going to reveal that it was a joke, but then again, it's Apple. They do do this kind of thing all the time. So, I don't know. Personally, I think that with $3,500, you could take your family on vacation to two real places in the world, two separate times, and have a memory that will stay with you until the day that you die. So that when you're laying on your deathbed and you're thinking back on your life and your dying moments with your family all around you, and you're like, you're not just remembering looking at the inside of fucking ski goggles and, and going through your Twitter timeline, tr desperately trying to avoid uh, weird Bitcoin scams and and uh, videos of, of ISIS beheadings and whatever. And instead you're like, oh my God, remember that time when me and my wife and kids went on a cool vacation? Remember when we saw the, the dolphins jumping out of the water? Remember when we, when we caught a sea urchin and we let it back in the water and it was so beautiful? Remember that? Oh. Instead you're like, remember that time when my iMessage got frozen onto my eyeballs. So for the re for the next 20 years of my life while I was waiting for an Apple technician for my VR, for my Apple eyes, 
Uh, I, I, I had to look at everything through the filter of the latest text message that was coming in, which was mostly spam messages from the Democratic Party telling me that we need to defeat Trump in 2048. Isn't it the same thing as people playing video games and watching Netflix today? No! Are you kidding me? No! I'm sorry. There is... Okay, okay, in some ways, yes, there are similarities in the worst ways, okay, guys? Okay, you know how, like, Netflix has encouraged a culture of binging shows by yourself in the dark instead of, like, water cooler television where you talk with other people about the show that you watch for an hour that week you know how now it's more about like you need to sit down in the dark for 14 hours when you feel depressed and watch an entire show from the beginning to the end instead of like oh i did you guys see that show last week that we enjoyed yeah great let's talk about it let's think about it blah 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 yeah like that's the similarity right there okay that's where they have a similarity between netflix like it's this idea that every part of your life needs to be increasingly and invasively consumed by a virtual reality that sh that shit it sucks it sucks ass but it's it's layered on top of the real world which also sucks ass to try and convince you that the real world doesn't suck ass because you can pin your problems and or uh project your like desires onto the virtual world Corporations give a bad name to transhumanist visions. Of course they do. That's how they always do. Uh, uh, at, games become more live services. Netflix becomes all about binging shows that get abandoned after one season or run for two seasons before they ruin the lives of everyone involved in producing it. And the and technology increasingly becomes fixated on being able to serve you advertisements every second of every day because the technology is either implanted in your brain or slapped in front of your eyes. Guys, okay, I was joking about a ton of things in this section, but I want you to take a moment and seriously imagine just for one second what it would be like to, be, to get pop-up ads on your VR goggles. Okay, let's say, let's say you got a ton of expendable income, you slap on those Apple VR goggles, and you're about to sit down and you want to watch a movie uh, through your eyes, apparently your TV that you already have that cost a fraction, that aside, and, the, and you get a fucking advertisement, and you got to peel your fucking goggles off your head. Also, do you guys think that the ad blocker options are going to be very good on the proprietary fucking uh, Apple VR OS? Hmm. What about when you want to play a uh, tunnel run or whatever it's called? Uh, Subway Runner or whatever fucking spin-off bullshit game that you want to play and it's t it's spamming up advertisements for games like like uh, like Ebony Online or whatever and it's got like an elf lady with like a shittily drawn elf lady with her tits and you're like I wanted to play Tunnel Runner I get it off my eyeballs oh my goodness what a mess Anyway, the Apple VR headset looks like a big old joke, okay? VR, unfortunately, has yet to be realized into any meaningful vision. People still just have a very childlike escapist fantasy. Uh, and it won't fix your problems, okay, guys? Uh, being able to see... Um, being able to see your iMessage in AR is not going to make your life any better. In fact, it probably will make your life worse. Uh, there is a beautiful world out there full of beautiful people, beautiful creatures, plants, animals, sights unknown, uh, tastes, sounds, and none of them are aided by the Apple VR $3,500, uh, scam. I mean, not scam. Legally not a scam. It's just a product, guys. Uh, so there you go. Yeah. There you have it. Uh, I don't have anything else to say about it. Uh, uh, I will say, though, there is one thing. There is one last thing I have to say. I lied. I lied straight to your face. I'm the liar now, bitch. Uh, there is one good thing about VR, and that is VR porn. 
And the reason why, even though I don't like VR porn because I'm not, uh, 3D model things kind of just give me the, uh, the uncanny valley, valley. However, for those of you who do like it, it actually does make things that are impossible possible in small bite-sized experiences. You can get fucked by a dragon if you so desire it. You can have a dragon fuck a car if you so desire it. And you can sit in the cuck chair and watch. Um, pretty incredible. You know, uh, that's something that VR... But again, that does kind of fall into the realm of like the video game, like artistic experience application as opposed to like the augmented alternative reality type thing. Um, but yeah, I figured, uh, you know, there is, I want to give credit where credit is due, okay? Thank you all very, very much. If you've been having fun, make sure you hit subscribe below and tell me your thoughts. Do you think that I'm full of crap? Do you think that VR is going to save the world? Are you purchasing an Apple headset? Leave a comment below and let me know. There you go. Thank you all very much. All right, everybody. There you go. That's the VR segment, okay?